Hello, welcome to Pass the Stick Point and Click. I'm Seth Fisk coming to you from the Ponder Couch, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Sam and Max. Specifically about Sam and Max Hit the Road, the first point and click adventure game that I remember getting very excited about and playing all the way through. Um, it came out from LucasArts. Uh, it was the characters Sam and Max were made by Stephen Purcell, who has since gone on to work on several Pixar things, including some of the recent Toy Story shorts and Brave. Um, I was first aware of it from the game, but it first came out as a series of comic books and comic strips, um, collected originally in this volume, and then later in this volume, again, by um, Telltale Games. Um, <clears throat> there was also some strips in the Adventurer, I believe it was called, uh, which was the, the Lucas Arts newsletter magazine. Here's one of those strips. Some of them are collected in this volume and some of them are, some more were collected in this volume as well. Um, you can see in the back here. The game was wonderful. It's what got me into point and click gaming and, and back into video gaming after I'd kind of lost interest. Um, that with Monkey Island and Day of the Tentacle and King's Quest V and a few of the other games got me into point-and-click adventure games, and I've loved them ever since. Um, Sam and Max Hit the Road is my favorite one, and still my favorite. Uh, Telltale Games, which helped release, re-release the book, um, also released three seasons of Sam and Max games. Here's season two. Um, <clears throat> they are a lot of fun as well. Um, with season two, I got, from the company, I ordered some of the, the feelies, which are little toys and, and, and things that came with the game. They used to have, uh, back in the day, LucasArts use and other game companies would send lots of little toys and trinkets with their games that sort of tied into the game and made the games feel a little bit more real. And that's what, what this does as well. Um, but before those games were released, they also had a Simon Max cartoon show which I liked quite a bit. I'm kind of surprised the show got made because it was still very adult humor, but um, cleaned up a bit. I mean, they didn't, they didn't swear anymore, but some of the things dealt with were very adult, and I'm pretty amazed that they made it to a, a children's cartoon. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about Sam and Max Hit the Road. I forgot to summarize the game. Uh, it's about Sam, a dog, and Max, a rabbit, who were, who are freelance police detectives who get hired by a circus, a sideshow, um, carnival sideshow, freak show, to find a missing Bigfoot and giraffe neck girl. And they go around to various tourist traps and snuckies, which are a parody of stuckies. Um, I also have the Sam and Max shirt. Uh, between Sam and Max Hit the Road and the seasons of the game, there was going to be another adventure game called, a point click adventure game called Sam and Max Freelance Police. And there was some gameplay footage and some um, art from it that was released, but then the game never got released. And I'm very disappointed because it looked very interesting. I think they might have used some of the storyline and some of the, the Telltale uh, games, seasons, but I'm not entirely sure. There's also a short cartoon on the internet where Sam and Max are doing an autopsy on an alien, and that's pretty funny. And there was an interactive um, comic online right around the time that the first season of the game was coming out. Um, I love Sam and Max. I think they're brilliant always and I hope that Telltale continues to release more games or Stephen Purcell uh, releases more comics or something happens because I can't get enough. It's Seth Fish signing off. I'll also take these disgusting pecan treats. Anything else? What can you tell me about these? That's a box of our world-famous Snuckies pecan-flavored candy, the love treat of couch potatoes everywhere. Anything else? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. 
They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy?